You ready? Yeah. Let's do it. Welcome back to the channel, guys. My name is Alec. I'm Kiana. And yeah, this is our channel. A and K. Yeah, A and K. <laughs> Announcement to everyone that's watching: It is Alec's birthday tomorrow, August thirtieth, twenty eighteen. He is turning twenty years old. So make sure to go on his Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook. I don't know, just a lot of social media to wish him a happy birthday. But before we get into why we are here today, make sure you do click that subscribe button, join the ANK fam. We are closing in on 23,000. We are less than 100 away. And once we hit that, Andrew's going to sing for us and it's going to be crazy. He's going to sing for you guys. It's going to be on YouTube. It's going to be blasted everywhere. He's going to be the new Justin Bieber. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Well, we didn't even announce what we we're going to say. So today is a story time about how Alec and I met and the process of our relationship because it is kind of complicated. Yeah. 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 I so mean, the OG people would know like how we originally met, but we'll kind of woo. <laughs> we'll resurface that, but more into detail about how we started dating and all that stuff. Our junior year of high school is when we actually did meet. So that was like two, three years ago, something like that. Two years ago. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. been a long time. Been a while. <laughs> and we went on a trip to Italy, but it all started like a month before that. The chaperone of the trip was my sophomore history teacher, Mr. Nadal. I actually went to Spain and Peru with him. I asked him for a list of names of who was going on the Italy trip because I wanted to look them up on Instagram and like see who they were, you know, just what grades they were in. I just say, I, yeah, so I can try to make friends on the trip or whatnot because I only knew a few people going on. So he gave me a list. There was like 25 people on there. I looked up every single person. And when I got to Kiana's Instagram, I was like, I, I looked at it in her old profile picture at the time. I was like, whoa, like she's hot. And, and so I like I scrolled through all of her photos and I was like, dang, like this girl's like cute. So I knew that I wanted to like become friends with her because she was attractive. Not in like, oh, I just want to, you know, hook up with her, but it was just cause yeah. So we had a meeting at the other chaperone's house and I got there, I was the first person there, and then Kiana and her grandma showed up. And they like knocked on the door and I guess they brought like, what'd you bring, sodas or waters? I, or? Yeah, we brought like snacks and stuff because we were all meeting and so they told us to bring snacks. So I brought like sodas, I think a couple like bags of chips and stuff. Yeah, so they opened the door, the teacher, and then they were there and I went outside and I like, I helped her bring it in, but I was too nervous to talk to her so I didn't like say anything to her. <laughs> and then... Well, you asked me if I needed help. Okay, well, I mean, <laughs> besides that. <laughs> <laughs> and then that was like early February. We didn't go to Italy till the last week of March. So in March, I there was two encounters that I didn't have, but like two times I saw Kiana. I was at Chili's one time with a group of my friends and this guy named Chris came in and I guess he was on like a date with Kiana. It wasn't a date, we were friends. But he had said to like numerous numerous amount of people that we were like kind of dating but in my view i we were just friends so i guess i didn't make that clear that we were just friends but yeah so we they were just friends <laughs> so they walked in and i was like oh i t i leaned over to um i want to say kenny i don't think andrew was there it was kenny i said that's kiana that's like the girl that's going on the italy trip whatever and then after Chili's, we were leaving and they left at the same time. And then we weren't like friends with Chris. We were just kind of like acquaintances from school. And we were like, oh, you know, like, see you later, Chris, or whatever. And then someone made a joke about how Chris and Kiana were going to, you know, do it. And then Chris was like, oh, yeah, you know, like a guy trying to be all cool. Yeah, I was already in the car at that point. So obviously yeah. I didn't hear that because I would have defended myself and been like, no, but yeah. whatever. So like when that was said, I was like kind of heartbroken. I'm like, oh, like... <laughs> It hurt. And then the next time I saw her was at Powder Puff. If you guys don't know what Powder Puff in high school, it's where like girls <laughs> be football players and guys be cheerleaders. So I was one of the cheerleaders and I saw like Kiana and Chris came into the stadium. So I was convinced they were dating because like yeah. both times I had saw seen her, she was with him. So we were really good friends. So. Yeah, that was that. And then <laughs> the trip came. And I had a friend named Ray who went to Spain and Peru with me. He was kind of my kind of my wingman throughout all this. But 
<laughs> I was telling him how like I really liked her and I thought she was cute and I wanted to get to know her better and he was like oh you guys got to hook up all on this trip you know uh, but I, and I just wanted to get to know her because I'm not the type of person that would be like a one and done or just like hook up and then you know bye or whatever like I actually wanted to get to know Kiana so it was like at LAX, the airport. Oh, can I mention something? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, so when the way I found out about the trip was um, my like friend said that she was going on this Italy trip, and I was like, no way! Like, how do I like get to the information to find out? And so then I found it through that. And then my grandma was kind of like weird with me going to a, a different country for the first time, like not by myself because we were going with a whole bunch of kids and stuff. But like she felt like kind of weirded about it, so um, I ended up having to take my brother to the trip. So meanwhile, my whole br my brother and I were both on this trip. He did. He only went to like our uh, our high school that we went to for his freshman and sophomore year. So he didn't obviously, and he's older, so he didn't know anyone. But um, yeah, so we went on the trip. So me meanwhile, at the LAX, we were talking, me and my brother, and kind of just being by ourselves because we didn't know anyone. Yeah. So while we were at the airport. There were so many kids, there was like 26 kids, 25 kids. So many. And there was only three chaperones that, the chaperones that, who were all teachers, they made us create little groups of five people and basically on the trip, our group was responsible for each other and basically so it was an Exchange easier way. Exchange phone numbers, yeah. stuff like that. And an easier way to stay connected. I got lucky that Kiana and her brother just ended up in our group. I mean, it wasn't like you go here, you go there, it was just like you yeah, kind of get a pick. Whatever, yeah. But it was cool that they ended up in our group, so it was like an easier way of me meeting her. And then... <laughs> Wait, can I mention something else? Yeah. <laughs> what? I'm just like an asshole. Because um, I tried to get at Ray, remember? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, so funny part about this whole thing was when I... Um, I don't think... I don't remember seeing, like, his friend Ray at the, uh, like, not meet and greet, but, like, that, that meeting... I don't remember him like seeing him. So then when we went to the LAX and everything, I saw Ray and I thought he was kind of cute. So like I tried to like slowly get at him for a second and then he like mentioned something about his girlfriend and I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so meanwhile, while Alec was trying to get to know me to like get, not get at me, but like try to like make something out of it, I was doing the same to Ray and then it cut off really quick. But that was really funny. Okay, continue. So there's a lot of like, <laughs> not a lot, but there's just, I'm, I'm gonna do like a quick overview of Italy. So, obviously we were getting closer over Italy. Everyone on the trip saw that. Everyone on the trip started making bets with each other that Kion and I were gonna hook up on the trip. It never happened, spoiler alert. It never happened. And then the, the last night, like we were in Rome, the last night of the trip, everyone kept telling me, oh, you have to go up to her and tell her how you feel. You have to ask her out, blah, 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 all these things, just telling me. And I guess they were telling her too. So really awkwardly we kind of like walked up to each other and I don't remember exactly what was said but it's kind of like oh like I want to keep talking to you after the trip and it was just like yeah that's pretty much it like <laughs> it, was it was so it was really awkward, awkward. It, and I feel like it, w it wouldn't have been awkward if like Alec did on his own but like I'm not saying like he needed people to like tell me that it was gonna happen because I feel like it would be less awkward I think it was because of the fact that like everyone was like oh you need to tell her you need to tell her and then like when we actually got to talking like there was a group of kids just watching us so like yeah. that would that made it awkward like if Alec just approached me and we had a conversation it would have been so much better like Alec didn't make it awkward it was more of the kids that were making it awkward so I want to justify that yeah so <laughs> it wasn't Alec's action <laughs> So we got back to America and we were at the uh, the Van Nuys flyaway. It's like a place that takes you to the airport and you also can get dropped off there. But getting off the bus, like I legitimately thought that was the last time I was going to see Kiana because I was like, you know, things were kind of yeah, <laughs> things were kind of awkward the way it ended in Italy, so I was like I might never ever see her again. And before I can even have a chance to say bye, like her her and her family left. But luckily I had her phone number and then that night um, we were texting and then we found out that we literally live like two minutes away from each other. Yeah, which was so cool. And then, so this is gonna, where it's gonna go into the, the in-depth part, I guess, more story time. But we were talking, she would come over, I think a few days after we got back, she came over. You picked me up in your car. 
Yeah, I... No, it was in your dad's car. No, it was my car. No, it no, had it was, to be yeah, your dad's, dad's car. car. The Mercedes, yeah. remember? I was um, <laughs> going to the park, like, skateboarding on my penny board. And I was bored and we were talking and he said, like, he had really nothing to do. And, he, and then we were talking how we live so close to each other and he's like, how about I just come pick you up? I know what park you're at. And I was like, okay, that sounds cool. I didn't let my grandma know. Sorry, grandma. Um, <laughs> but I ended up going to this guy's house and it was... Okay. It was kind of yeah. awkward. I don't know when it happened, but it was like relatively really close after we got back. Yeah, I think it was only a couple days after. I asked her out, and I guess the way I worded it, I said like, oh, do you want to go out with me? Oh, I meant like no. go out and be my girlfriend. Wait, I think that was a few days later. Yeah. I, it was sometime in there. I said, didn't you make a poster? No, you didn't no, make a No, that was wrong. You point. brought me flowers or something. Yeah. 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 So, so I was like, "Oh, do you want to go out with me?" Meaning, like, "Oh, do you want to like be my girlfriend, go out with me?" And she thought I just meant go out on a date. <laughs> so she said yes, and then it was kind of like awkward for a second. <laughs> and then I made a joke like, "Oh, should we like put it in our bios or whatever?" You know, people on Instagram put like their the dates they started dating in yeah. their bio or whatever. And then she was like, "What?" Like all confused. <laughs> And it was really weird. I was so confused because I was like, why would we put that we're going on a date on our bio? Yeah. So, <laughs> that happened on a Sunday. And then that the very next Thursday, I was in third period at class, which was a graphics design class. And she texted me and she was pretty much like, hey, like, I don't think we should, like, date or whatever. It just doesn't feel right. So I'm like, okay. But I didn't want to give up because I really liked her. So we stayed friends. That one looks like such a dick in this video. Okay. It's okay. We stayed friends. And then we were pretty much just friends for a few months. It wasn't until like July we started like becoming more than friends. And at that point, um, we were more like, I would guess, like friends with benefits. But to me, it, it meant more because I liked her. But I, I guess to her, it didn't mean as much. Oh. But in August, uh, I, th I think like so our senior year yeah our senior if, if you guys are getting confused yeah, August our senior year <laughs> we were talking and we said something about how oh we should like try dating again but Kiana didn't want to make it public so we like secretly dated and it lasted for three weeks and then she broke up with me again and then from September up until December it was like every so often we I mean we were best friends this whole time but every so often we would like start secretly dating and then it would end after like a few days or a week or two. It would never last. And it wasn't until December 2016, Kiana, she went to Hawaii with her uncle and her friend. And I guess on the trip, I don't know, like I guess you can spend it better than me. You yeah, I mean, keep in mind, like, since we were really close as friends and like on and off friends and with benefits or like somewhat dating, we like saw each other every day, whether it was like at school, or on the weekends, or, you know, because we lived so close, it was so easy. So we would literally see each other every single day. And then I would tell him everything. Like, we were really, really super close. And then um, I guess seeing him for, like, not almost a week and a half, like, I don't know, it made me miss him a lot. And then it made me realize, like, oh, he is, like, well, it's not that I didn't think that he was important to me, but, like, I realized the importance of him through that trip. And I realized that it wasn't just importance of like him as my friend. It became more of that. But like I need that break, I guess, to like realize that. Cause I didn't want to start dating Alec, and I I, I kind of seemed like an asshole <laughs> through this whole story. Cause I kept on breaking things off. But I was just I like our friendship were was just amazing, and I've never had that with someone. And I just like was so scared that if I started liking him by us dating and stuff it would just like ruin so like I didn't know that we were gonna last like I didn't think I honestly looking back I would have never thought that we would be still dating now but don't take offense to it I'm not but it's just like <laughs> I didn't want to ruin anything because he was he was so like I don't know we were like so close I can't even explain like he was my, my best friend my only best friend I don't know it was, yeah. not, but <laughs> anyways she got back, I think like two days, three days after New Year's, and... Yeah, it was like two days. When she came back, like I knew something was like different, I could just tell by the way she acted. And then on January 8th, she, this is back 2017, she told me, she's like, hey, like I want to start dating again. And I was like, oh, 
like I told her, I was like, you know, I, I don't want to keep doing this if we keep having to, like, keep it a secret or whatever. Yeah. Because, like, as much as I liked to, I don't know, say I was dating her, like, it, it hurt me every single time we would try to keep it secret because I wanted to, like, be public and I wanted to spoil her and all these things. But I may, I said, you know, like, oh, I don't want to keep doing this if it's going to be, like, secret. And she said that she wanted to make it public and I was, like, shocked. And I'm like, are you serious? And she's like, yeah. And we were on FaceTime and she was like, like, I really want to. And, and then I said, Alex Sandwich, do you want to date me? Yeah. So technically you can say that I asked yeah, him out. Yeah, you did. <laughs> and yeah, so I, ever since then we've just... We've been together. dating yeah. together forever. So technically, like, we've been, like, on and off dating. But if you don't want to count that, then we've been, like, strictly dating since January yeah, it, of 2017. If you want to be, like, super official, then we've been dating for... A year and eight months if you want to be like official official but if you want to talk about when we started like having a thing and started to like stuff like that it's been over two years yeah but yeah that's I mean that's like the story, story. yeah that's the story I like in Canada. we hope you liked it yeah. I mean I like telling stories so time is fun. yeah so if you guys want to know any other stories I'm an open book let us know down in the, in the comment, comment section. section if this video does not get up in the afternoon it's gonna go up at night I actually have to get to class in like 40 minutes and so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to upload this before class or after so if it comes out later in the night I'm sorry guys but I do want to post it today the day before my birthday and then tomorrow my birthday I'll be filming stuff Kiana has some surprises for me and yeah I mean if you guys are new here click that subscribe button let us know what you think down in the comment section about these stories other stories if you want to know any other stories. Yeah, and also any like video ideas that you guys want us to do. Yeah. We're like super open to the possibilities. Yeah. And with that being said, we, we love, love you guys. <laughs> and we'll, we'll see, see you in the next one. one. Peace! Peace.